So these are the visoirs. That's what I'm rubbing on. We've now set up our trammel to a 920 radius. And we're now gonna sew to replicate these. Just double checking that when we get to the centre, we have that slight allowance for a joint. That is perfect. So just set the trammel up again, but this time to the extra DOS. I'm just marking that out to the centre. And now I can radiate from here through each joint to give me the shape of each one. So just mark them out with the striking point being marked there. Just to radiate and give me the shape of each one. So each time I rub one down, I'll just lay it in position, make sure it's fitting right all the way around to the center. And then I will um, just duplicate it for the other side. So to get it as close as you can, just um, template and then just mark it to get that bit off obviously to get as close as you can to that mark and then just rub it to there
so got the folding wedges in just to set this arch center up so obviously we want to make sure that we are level with the adjacent arches so you can see I've set the laser up to the soffit spin it round so that we are dead right on this one here as well you can just see where my finger is that's really good for top of the arch so um, here are the visoirs all cut line putty ready to go so um, we'll start our first rubber and gauge arch so we now have our line putty a little bit normal mortar just to bed the first one on over end in which I'll do that one in a minute and uh, we have the line set up here obviously to radiate to the striking point but the problem we have is it's a wet day and just where all the vizoirs were kept um, they got saturated so we now have the heater on just trying to dry these out so that I can uh, hopefully make a start and what I'm going to do is I'll probably do about 10 one side and then 10 the other and just keep going like that well I'll do 10 one side and then I'll do 10 but then carry on probably do 20 and then go back to the 10 and then carry on with another 10 on top of that one work it that way Right, so first time ever that I've done a rubber gauge arch. Should be fun. So the first inner arch is done, obviously it just needs like tuck pointing, which I'm going to leave that till later on. And now set up for the second one, and just got the, the first two Springer bricks in, and uh, they're all the ones that have been rubbed down all square on every corner and every side. Uh, ready to be dipped in uh, lime, which is in that gorilla tub, and then we'll um, follow the gauge marks and our uh, strike and line, and hopefully it will go in as nicely as what this one did. This one did go a lot better than I expected. Um, again, it's not a straight um, arch; it's actually curved because. All of this is on a curved wall, so we'll see how it goes. So, just wanted to show you when they are rubbed, how tight they fit together. And it's pretty much like how they're going to be laid. <laughs> 